talk about uh, the trends, uh, one clear observation which is of course there for a long time is that we see that uh, the, uh, the amount of software that goes into a car is growing. A uh, few years back, you know, uh, probably the line, number of lines of code that goes into a car is about a uh, few million lines of code. And today we see that, uh, uh, you know, we have 100 million lines of code mm -hmm. that goes into 100 plus different uh, ECUs today. So the amount of software, I mean, is so much, we can say today the software is virtually eating the car. So that kind of, uh, you know, uh, explosion we are seeing and that creates a huge demand actually for having uh, engineering services on the software side. So that's one uh, trend I would say and uh, going into a little bit of uh, specifics, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the, uh, the in-vehicle in infotainment, you know, this is something that has become an increasingly a differentiator for a car maker. Okay. Uh, so specific, more specifically the human machine interface. Uh, so uh, when, when I say human machine interface, it's the uh, it's interaction uh, of the user with, within the car. Uh, it could be of various uh, mode, it's multimodal. One is uh, using speech, uh, inputs using touch, as well as gestures. You know, all of this uh, is, is very, very significant, and uh, you know that's where we see that a uh, lot of emphasis and uh, you know uh, improvements going on. In addition to that, uh, one more clear direction we see is uh, there is a trend where uh, the OEMs and the industry uh, is moving towards uh, semi-autonomous and autonomous uh, driving. 